alive. It's ridiculous. If it looks dead, put one more in its head for good measure. Why take a chance? Fixed a few power armor mods and gave them to Tegan. You might want to check them out. Elder Maxon said you'd help me build the signal interceptor. So, looks like you're calling the shots around here now, huh? All right, I'll bite. What does your new miracle device do? The Institute uses teleportation to get in and out. This machine can hijack their signal and send me instead. Teleportation? Molecular transmission via encrypted RF waves? Okay, even I have to admit, that's genius. This explains why we've been picking up anomalous energy readings all across the Commonwealth. Not to mention how they get their tin soldiers to come out of the damn walls. And this little beauty allows you to literally hijack a return signal. Instead of grabbing the intended target, it grabs you instead. Impressive. Well, you definitely know your stuff. Damn right I do. It's difficult to make out all the details here, but I'm thinking you can get started by building a stabilized reflector platform. It's gonna take a cargo hold full of high-grade metal, but I'm sure that we have plenty of it right here at the- Proctor Ingram, about the signal interceptor? It's difficult to make out all the details here, but I'm- It's gonna take a cargo hold full of high-grade metal, but I'm sure that we have plenty of it right here at the airport. I'm glad you can make sense of those plans. I haven't made sense of all of it yet, but I will by the time you get the first part built. Here's a list of everything you need to find. You're also going to need a massive power source to get the signal interceptor running. Any luck building the platform yet? Yes. I'm ready to build the rest of it. Good. Let's move on then. Here's a list of everything we'll need. Now I know some of that might as well be in Greek, so I'll be around if you have any questions. Looks good, Ingram. I'll get to work right away. <laughs> I wish I had your confidence. Remarkable work, Knight. The signal interceptor appears to be complete. Are you ready to put it to the test? Absolutely. I'm ready to go. Your confidence is an inspiration to us all. That being said, this is the first time we've attempted to directly adapt Institute technology. 
When we throw that switch, we don't know exactly what's gonna happen. God willing, you'll end up inside the Institute, and the mission can continue. What are the details of my mission? I'm glad you asked. Now, I want you to listen very carefully. Once you've entered the Institute, we expect to lose contact, so it's imperative you remember everything I'm about to tell you. About ten years ago, the Brotherhood began recruiting civilian scientists from the Capital Wasteland to assist with various projects. During this process, we were able to obtain the services of Dr. Madison Lee, a noted mind in the field of nuclear engineering. That's fortunate. Yes, it was. Securing useful resources during wartime is critical. That said, Dr. Lee's contributions to our cause were instrumental in maintaining order in the Capital Wasteland. After some time, she developed differences with the Brotherhood, and exiled herself to the Commonwealth. We're fairly certain that her intent was to make contact with the Institute. I'm surprised that the Brotherhood let her go. Had I been in command, I wouldn't have allowed it to happen. She was a valuable asset. Your mission is simple. Once you're inside the Institute, we want you to track down Dr. Lee's whereabouts. If you find out that she's still alive, make contact with her and convince her to return to the Brotherhood of Steel. There's a special project we're working on, and it needs her attention. What's this project that needs her attention? Dr. Lee previously worked on a potent weapon for the Brotherhood of Steel. We'd like her to continue where she left off. That's all I can tell you. Listen to me, Knight. I'm well aware that you're risking your life going into the Institute blind. Just keep your mind on the mission, and don't let anything they say sway you from your duty. Good luck. I've checked and rechecked everything. Ingram? I've checked and rechecked everything. I think the signal interceptor's ready to go. I've checked and rechecked everything. I think the signal interceptor's ready to go. Are you? Let's do this. All right. Head up onto the platform, and we'll see if I can find a signal to lock onto. Dr. Lee is a valuable asset. If any harm platform. comes to her, I'm holding you personally responsible. In or are you out? Make up your mind. Let's see. Relays dialed in. Beam emitters warmed up. Everything looks green. Let me start scanning for the signal. Cross your fingers. I'm inputting the code now. Wow, there's a heck of a lot of interference and ghosting. Soldier. It's gonna take a minute Move or two out. to lock in. By the way, this little trip you're taking is a heck of an opportunity to find out as much as we can about the Institute and what they're up to. I put a clever little program on this holotape that'll scan their network and download anything it finds. If you place it in any terminal down there, it'll do the rest. Bring it back to me and I'll see if I can Refrain make sense of whatever it found. The well, well. It could Looks jeopardize like our we entire have mission. a winner. RF wave capture complete. Ramping the emitter. 60%, 80%. Emitter spiking but steady. All that's left is to throw the transmit switch. Transmitting in three, two, one. Stay safe, soldier. under my guidance. I know why you're here. I'd it's like stuck. to discuss things with you face to face. Please, 
Step into the elevator. I can only imagine what you've heard, what you think of us. I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. Welcome to the Institute. This is the reality of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy. And our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are... unstable. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that could wait. You are here for a specific, very personal reason. You are here for your son. Yes, I'm Sean. Sean? Is that really you? Who are you? Sean, it's me. I'm... I'm your dad. Father, what's going on? What's happening? Those bastards, they took you from me. What's going on? Father? Father! Sean, open the door. I don't know you. Go away. Father, Father, help me. There's someone here, help me. Please, Sean, I'm your father. Talk to me. Just open the door. Father, Father, help me. He's trying to take me. Father, Father, help me. Sean. S923, recall code. Cirrus. Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional, and that your journey here has been fraught... Let's start. Uh... Give me Sean. The real Sean. Right now! I know. I know. You've gone to such lengths to find him. I want answers, asshole. Now. Under the circumstances, I will forgive your vulgarity, but I need you to realize that this situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far, and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been rewarded. It's good to finally meet you, after all this time. It's me. I am Sean. I am... your son. Is that even possible? I know this is a lot to take in. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the son you'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believed that ten years had passed, 
Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? That is the reality, and here I am. Raised by the Institute, and now its leader. They stole you. Kidnapped you. It wasn't right. Right, wrong, irrelevant. It was necessary. The Institute believed humanity's future depended on it. At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being. Walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. So the weird science experiments needed specimens. That's why they took you. In a manner of speaking, yes. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. In this... wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me, after discovering records from Vault 111. An infant. Frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. I don't believe you. There's no way any of this is true. I wish there was something to say. I know this isn't what you wanted. But it's the only truth I can offer you. You're my son. Then prove it. Now. I've already told you how I came to be here. I don't know what further proof I can offer that would convince you. I've shown you my trust. Your weapons haven't been confiscated, and I stand unarmed before you. Please, let's just talk. All right. Let's talk, then. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. I don't want to hear any more right now. Very well. The Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now... After all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? I won't be a part of this. I can't. Why? Because of the reputation of the Institute. The Institute can provide a better life than anything above ground. You've been in the Commonwealth. You've seen what it's like. I assure you that you are better off with us. Your institute has done some horrible things. <sighs> yes, well, the world is not what it used to be. What about the people you've aided in order to get here? What atrocities have they committed? The Brotherhood of Steel. They believe they're the only ones fit to control technology and destroy anyone who opposes them. And you would side with them. None have any true claim to nobility in this world. Those days are gone. 
But we are not the monsters we have been cast as. I simply ask that you give the Institute, me, a chance. A chance to show you what I've been telling you. We really do have humanity's best interest at heart. Will you take that chance? <sighs> I just don't know. Just give it time. Give the Institute a chance. The Institute is now your home as much as it is mine. Please take some time, get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. You'll want to introduce yourself to the division heads. Dr. Fillmore in facilities. Dr. Ao in SRB. Dr. Holdren in bioscience. And finally, Dr. Lee in advanced systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them, and then we'll discuss what comes next. Scepter's malfunctioning? Can you not see the grime and dust? Don't make excuses. You're clearly a victim, and I intend to report this. Supplement 77 has been discontinued? That is correct. That was my favorite one. Can't we keep it a little longer? I will be happy to forward your request to the Bioscience Division. In the meantime, please feel free to enjoy one of our other nutritious and flavorful food supplements. I want Supplement 77. I am sorry, sir, but that supplement is no longer available. Useless machine. going, so I've had to put everything else to one side. I wonder how the Warwick family is doing. Young Wally must be close to ten years old by now. It's remarkable that any child can survive for so long up there, don't you think? I... I try not to think too much about it. We have more than enough to occupy ourselves here. Those people are the last remnants of a dying past. It's best not to dwell on the subject. They're still people, and they're suffering. We can at least admit that it's regrettable. After all, how can we hope to redefine mankind if we can't even hold on to our own humanity? Well, that's a question best left to our colleagues in the Robotics Division. Yes, well... I suppose you're right. Hey, Doc. Welcome. So good to have you here. Dr. Clayton Holdren, head of the Bioscience Division. I can't wait for you to see the work we're doing. It's truly amazing. I'll reserve judgment until I know more about it. In that case, let me give you a brief overview of what we do here. As the name implies, the Bioscience Division specializes in fields of study such as botany, genetics, and medicine. Our most important directive is to ensure the health and well-being of everyone in the Institute. To that end, we cultivate highly specialized breeds of flora for use in food and medicine. We've even started to explore the idea of synthetic animal life. You probably saw the gorillas, they're really just a pet project at this point, but the potential is exciting nonetheless. The gorillas are synths too? They are indeed. Judging by your reaction, we've done a good job making them seem lifelike. The initiative is still in its early stages, but the prospects are very exciting. I'm sure I've taken up enough of your time as it is, but I have to ask, 
Have you decided whether you'll join us? I'm not sure. Right now, I'm just trying to keep an open mind. It's a big decision, I know. But it's also a rare and important opportunity. No need to rush to judgment. In any case, I imagine you'll want to continue looking around. Or it's hard to stand out when you're surrounded. Sorry, but I'm too preoccupied for chit-chat. Dr. Holdren's synth gorilla project is showing promising results. Rosalind is as smart as she is beautiful. Almost done. Just need to tighten up this primary drive servo. That's the third primary drive breakdown this month. Duh. Oh. They weren't kidding. I don't know. You really are here. Most of them have lasted well, long right. past their projected I'm Allie. spans. I'm Allie. Allie Fillmore. If you ask me, you can think of me as the Institute's well. chief engineer. When Father told us about you, I could hardly believe it. You've been through so much, I think most people would have just given up. If you don't mind my asking, what was it that kept you going all that time? I wanted to kill the son of a bitch who murdered my wife. Kellogg always was a cold bastard. If you ask me, we're better off without him. Now, I'll give you a quick rundown of the facilities division, and then I'll answer any questions you might have afterward. As you might guess, we keep the Institute's mechanical and electrical systems running smoothly. We maintain and upgrade all of the systems that make it possible to live and work in a place like this. There's a lot of machinery behind these walls that recycles the air and water and provides power to the laboratories and quarters. The work we do might not be as exciting as some of the other departments, but it's at least as important. So, now that you're here and you've spoken to Father, does that mean you're on board? I'm not on board with anything. No? And yet here you are, poking around. One might find that suspicious. If you're not planning on staying, I'd recommend keeping your hands to yourself. Wouldn't want to give the impression you're up to something. And consider having another talk with Sean. He really is anxious to have you with us. If there's anything else you'd like to know about the facilities division, I'm happy to discuss it. It must be a challenge to meet the power demands of a place like this. Absolutely. We scratch and scrape for every precious ounce of voltage that we can. Over the years, we've learned a few tricks that help supplement our power budget. When necessary, we can tap into select sources on the surface. We take only what we need, of course. Fortunately, Advanced Systems is always working on new solutions to generate more energy. It's a good thing, too, because the demand is always increasing. <laughs> you don't even want to know what a single use of the molecular dematerializer consumes. I can't argue with... Allie. There we go. Hey, All what set. do you need? Unit, you can return to duty. Thank you, ma'am. Thanks again. It's an honor to have you here, sir. <clears throat> Just as you gave life to Father, he gave life to many of us. You know the protocol, sir. Authorized personnel only. So Dr. Ayo thinks he can hide in his office, does he? Well, you can tell him that status. I intend to speak to Father about this normal. unannounced. Knock some heads together. What now? They're Power armor is sturdy enough, but it limits your mobility. Maybe I should take We're some courses with We're all looking forward to working with you. Message. Mm. Please don't. There's enough friction as it is between us and pretty much all the other departments. You going soft on me, Alana? My methods get results, and they will this time as well. You'll see. The directorate should take the synth escapes more seriously. Doctor, 
So, here you are. Justin Ayo, acting director of the Synth Retention Bureau. I'll be upfront with you. We're going to be keeping a close eye on you for the near future. Despite your relation to father, you're a bit of an unknown quantity. I'm sure you understand. There won't be any issues, will there? Why? Don't you trust me? I'll be honest. You're an outsider. The first outsider to be allowed access to the Institute in quite a long time, in fact. There's little precedent for this situation, so it's only natural to take extra precautions, hmm? It's nothing personal, I assure you. Now, Father has asked that I provide you with a brief overview of the Synth Retention Bureau. Our primary responsibility is the recovery of escaped synths that are hiding among the human population on the surface. If the synths want to be free, you should let them. Synths do not want. They might look like human beings, but they're machines. As to why they're escaping? That matter is currently under investigation. Our main instrument is the Courser, a third generation synth assigned to operate on the surface. Coursers hunt down and reclaim synths that have escaped the Institute. They are highly self-sufficient, trained in combat, infiltration, and tracking. In a word, our Coursers are relentless. But I gather you know all this, since you've encountered one already. In fact, I'd very much like to know how you defeated it. I'm no stranger to combat. Even so, a Courser should be more than a match for any single combatant. I suppose I'll have to ask robotics to perform detailed diagnostics on the entire production run. As if we don't have enough problems. Now, unless you need something else, I'll get back to work. I'm good for now. Thanks. Very well. She's been at it for over two hours. What is she even testing? Nothing. At this point, she's just doing a doctor. Oh, it's you. You're not authorized to be here. Actually, I was looking for you. Me? Why? I've been sent by the Brotherhood of Steel. You don't beat around the bush, I'll give you that. I knew it was just a matter of time before your people would track me down. I've been looking over my shoulder for almost a decade, waiting for them to send someone like you to kill me. No, I just want to talk. Fine. Hmm. Since Father trusts you, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. I might not agree with everything he says, but I know he'd never allow harm to come my way. Say what you came here to say, and then leave me alone. Are you happy here? You'd think being surrounded by cutting-edge laboratory equipment and some of the greatest minds the world's ever known would be enough. Only problem is the lack of transparency. I don't think we get the full story on everything that occurs down here. What does that have to do with why we're talking? The Brotherhood needs your help, Doctor. Needs my help? Why? They seem to have everything under control when I left. The Brotherhood valued your presence, and we'd like you to come back. Well, how sweet of them. Tell me something. Why would I possibly want to come crawling back to the Brotherhood? What reason would I have to throw away everything I've accomplished here? Father trusts me, and so should you. He trusts you because you're family. I'm not. I can't just take your word for it. I need more than that. The Brotherhood has always been straight with you. I am getting a bit tired of all the secrets around here. Sometimes I feel like Father isn't being straight with me. Like there are things I'm not supposed to know about. I don't like that. But still, how can I turn my back on all of this? Your work could be instrumental in freeing the Commonwealth. You're wasting your breath. I'm a scientist, not a soldier. The Brotherhood desired I'm not interested in returning. I give up. What would it take to convince you? All right. I'll play your game. I had a colleague down here, a Dr. Virgil. Several months ago, there was an accident in his lab. 
and he was killed. I wanted to help with the investigation, but father had the laboratory sealed, saying that it was contaminated. The incident never sat right with me. The more I asked about it, the more I felt like father was deflecting my questions. If you bring me solid information on what killed him, I'll take it as a favor. Do we have a deal? I know this may come as a shock, but Dr. Virgil is still alive. I met him myself. Oh, please. Do you really think a cheap tactic like that is going to work on someone like me? Stop trying to avoid the legwork by lying. Either you get me the evidence, or we have nothing else to talk about. Deal? Deal. All right. Dr. Virgil's lab was in the biosciences division. I can give you a code that will get you into the section, but the lab itself has been sealed, so you'll have to breach it on your own. I'd tell you to be quiet about it, but your brotherhood and discretion isn't exactly your strong suit. And finally, if you get caught, we never had this conversation. Now, for the sake of keeping up appearances, let me see that pit boy of yours. I've been told to install a coarser chip in it for you. Father's orders. You're to be given full access, with the ability to relay in and out of the Institute at will. Thank you. I'm sure that'll come in handy. Given that the relay is the only way to access the Institute, handy is something of an understatement. In case the significance is lost on you, you'll be the only one here with that kind of access. If nothing else, it should demonstrate the amount of trust Father has placed in you. Speaking of, I trust our discussion will remain between the two of us. Now, I need to get back to work, and I'm sure you have other things to do. This is day eight of trial six. The last week has been very productive, but exhausting. I think we'll need a break after this. Benet has done some really marvelous work with the personality mesh. It's, are you going to tell me about this? Well, it's, it's almost too good. The responses map almost identically You're to really expectations, some of the most lifelike I've seen. Of course, it's not really Sean. None of his memories are in there. That, even now, would be a step too far. It's starting to have an effect on the team, I think. I know I've been caught up in the moment once or twice. Just a second or two, forgetting that he's not a real boy. Still, I think we'll need to consider restricting him to the lab only for the moment. I'm well aware that others are, are put off by his presence. <laughs> if I were slightly more arrogant, I might consider that a sign of success. Sensor alert. Anomaly detected. Scanner's clear. Resetting threat level.
scanning. Don't think I can pick There's this. No way out of this. programs to efficiently terminate human combat. There we go. Personal record, Dr. Brian Virgil. This will likely be my last recording. My requests to shut down the FEV program have repeatedly been denied. We've learned nothing useful in the last 10 years. Why does Father insist on continuing it? If he won't see reason, then I have to take matters into my own hands. What we're doing, it's not right. It needs to stop. If anyone should find this after, after I'm gone. Know that I never wanted to hurt anyone. Anyone! Do you understand me? I'm gonna make sure the whole program is shut down. If not for good, then at least
least for years to come. After that... I know what I'm about to do will be seen as a betrayal. Treason, he'll probably call it. So... I'm leaving. I have a plan. And if it works, I'll be somewhere safe. Somewhere not even the Corsos can find me. Everything that we've done. The you lives we've taken. Broken. If there is a god, may he have mercy on us all. Dr. Lee? Took you long enough to find that evidence. Let me see what you've got. Here you go. A holotape. This better not be a waste of my time. They lied to me. They lied to me, and I didn't even realize how far it went. All those years of loyalty. For nothing. Now you know that Father is a liar. He doesn't deserve to have you here. And I'll never forgive him for it. I came to the Institute to get away from the Brotherhood. From the whole world. I just wanted to do my research in peace. Father took me in and gave me access to cutting-edge technology that I only dreamed existed. <laughs> I became jaded. I thought that the Institute cared, that they wanted to better mankind. <sighs> Maybe in their own twisted way they still do. But now I realize if you can't trust the people you're working for, then it's all pointless. If they lied about Dr. Virgil, who knows what else they've been lying about? Or what their plans are for my work? I'll make my way back to the Brotherhood, but I'm going to have to do it on my own. I can't take any chances being seen with you. Tell whoever sent you that they've just regained the services of Dr. Madison Lee. Our technology must seem pretty advanced by your standards. Hi there. I wouldn't be here you know? if not for your son. I don't know. Cold. Quentin is such a liar. How would he know what the surface is like? He's never been up there. Here's your holotape, Proctor. 
Hope the data on that thing was worth it. Thanks. You know, it's good to see you're still in one piece. I wasn't sure what the Interceptor would do to you. You didn't expect me to survive the trip? A device like the Signal Interceptor is way out of my league. I was hoping you'd make it, but I find it tough to have faith in technology I don't understand. Speaking of technology I don't understand, I'll get this holotape to Proctor Quinlan. I'm dying to find out what's on it. Hopefully, it'll reveal a weakness in their defenses. That would be the best case scenario. Before we jump to conclusions, let's see what Quinlan scribes can get off of it. I'm sure the Institute has all of their data heavily encrypted, so it's gonna take some time to crack. After that, we'll have to see what we've got. There's no telling what we might have grabbed off their mainframe. In the meantime, your mission to recruit Dr. Lee still needs to be completed. I believe Elder Maxson gave you all of the details. Good luck, Knight. If you run into any sense, shoot to kill. Possible to speak off the record for a moment? Absolutely. Go ahead. Thank you. This is difficult for me to say, so I hope you'll bear with me as I try to get through it. When you were first placed under my sponsorship, I had some serious reservations about it. Despite all that, this has turned out to be a rewarding experience for both of us. At this point, honestly, I don't feel like there's anything else I could teach you about being a Brotherhood soldier that you don't already know. It's apparent from your attitude and your actions that you intend to keep those ideals close to your heart. I'm flattered to hear this, but I feel like there's more. There is. I'm just not very good at these sort of things. Let me start at the beginning. I grew up alone in the capital wasteland. Spent most of my childhood picking through the ruins and selling scrap. When I was a bit older and had a few caps to my name, I moved into Rivet City and opened a junk stand. While I was there, I met a guy named Cutler. We got along pretty well. Watched each other's backs and kept each other out of trouble. When the Brotherhood came through on a recruiting run, we felt like it was a way out of our nowhere lives. So we joined up. I have a hard time picturing you as anything but a soldier. Clearly, I was ignoring my calling. Anyway, about a year after we were posted to the Pridwin, Cutler vanished on a scouting op. It took some convincing. But I was able to persuade my CO to let me assemble a squad and search for him. It took almost three weeks, but we tracked his team down to a super mutant hive. Those wretched abominations had slaughtered everyone but Cutler. He should have been so lucky. The mutant bastards used their FEV to change him into one of their own kind. He wasn't Cutler anymore. I had to. It was my duty to. Put him down. He did the right thing. It's what I was taught. I don't know if it was right. Ever since Cutler died, I've seen other soldiers come and go. Some were brave, some were honest. Hell, some were even downright heroic. But I'd never consider any of them to be a good friend. A friend like Cutler was. Until now. It's a good feeling, but it frightens me all the same. Having a bond with someone, then losing them. It changes you. I don't want to go through that again. It would never be that way with me. I care about you too much to let that happen. I... I didn't know you felt that strongly about our... Well, about us. I'm sorry if I seem... confused. You, you've certainly given me something to think about. I just thought you deserved to know how I felt. If you feel that I've overstepped my bounds, I completely understand. Whatever the case may be, I appreciate the fact that you took the time to listen.
I received word that Dr. Lee is returning to us. How cooperative do you think she'll be? I've convinced her that the Institute is the enemy, not the Brotherhood. Well done, Knight. As soon as Dr. Lee arrives, we'll interrogate her aboard the Pridwin. She's been under the Institute's influence for the last decade, and we can't afford to take any chances. Now, on to other matters. Thanks to the success of your reconnaissance efforts, it's time to advance our operations to the next phase. I want you to report to Proctor Ingram at the airport. She has a special project that requires your immediate attention. Once again, Knight, you don't fail to impress. Dismissed. <laughs>